a small business is vital to any community. You know, it's it's a it brings a community together. You know, the janitors are here, the presidents come, the people from foreign countries would come. But we have people from all walks of life. I love that. So when we opened uh, Ben's Chili Bowl on August 22, 1958, this was a predominantly African-American community known as Black Broadway, the street was, and it was a place that housed all of our entertainment. So this was an ideal place to open the business. People see this on their bucket list. They're like, I need, if I come to D.C., I'm going here, 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 and bands. It's entrenched into the, the concrete of D.C. like. It's mumbo sauce, it's Redskins, and it's Ben's Tilly Bowl. Pop came to the United States to become a dentist. And one day at school, his back was injured, so he would not be able to become a dentist. So then he had to think of a plan B. He said, OK, what if I do a restaurant, the American dish, the hamburgers and hot dogs, but add a spice to it? And it was very simple. We sold chili hair smokes, chili hot dogs, and chili burgers. And that was, went very well for quite some time. Uh, and then we were integrated and the change began. The big change came in 1968. I have some very sad news for all of you. And that is that Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis. So everybody's in tears and crying and in lots of pain. And finally, after a few hours, that sorrow turned to frustration. That was a very difficult time for us. Uh, I remember not being able to get insurance during that period uh, because heroin moved in. A couple of years later, crack cocaine moved in. And then I never really thought that this city would let this neighborhood continue to deteriorate. This is the nation's capital. And that's when, to me, you're tested. Not the customer, not the business, but the individual. And I kept saying to my husband, it's got to come back. I simply didn't think it would take 20 years. But we're back. Man, you know, men survive it all. Yes, all that you think you made your debt. So small businesses small business. can thrive. Can thrive. I think it's great to have a successful business. And I think it's important, because that's how you can continue. But I think the part that I love the most is the difference you make in the community. For 60 years, they remembered how they were treated. I can't tell you how many um, guests come back and they remember when they were 10, 11, 12, or 15, and they didn't have the money, but they would come in and get a free hot dog. You, can, you can't even dream of this, because it takes the community to make it happen, and you can't plan it, and you can't buy it. And nor can you take credit. You give the credit back to your creator and to the community. I'm hoping that my children will continue to be successful with the business. I'm proud of the fact that they formed a foundation to have a formal way of helping our community and folks in need. And I'm so pleased and so honored and so blessed to have had the support of this community. Nothing's better than that. I get to see my children every day. Nothing's better than that. Hmm?